another video on my channel. So I've got a really exciting video today. It's how to do these transfer foil graffiti inspired nails. Really super easy to do. So if you want to see how it's done, then just keep watching. So I'm starting out with a set of hard gel extensions. I used the gel bottle ink nude gel pot in number five to create these extensions. I sculpted them using forms. So I literally just used the nude gel pot in number five to create these extensions. And this is going to be my base. So I'm not applying any gel color or anything like that. You are also gonna need some foil adhesive. This is the edge nail transfer foil adhesive. So I'm just applying one coat of this to every single nail and the key with this step is not to apply it right up until the cuticle area and you don't want to cap the free edge with this. If you do that then you'll get lifting of the foils and it will all peel off. So you want to leave a gap so that when it comes to top coating after you've done your foil design it all stays in place and you can seal that design in properly. So now you've just got to wait for it to dry. It normally takes a minute or two to dry. You'll know when it is dry, when it is completely clear. So now going in with the foils, these are the five foils I've chosen. I chose a lovely lilac, a hot pink, a gorgeous copper, a holographic champagne, and then a bright blue for my colors. You can choose whatever color you want. These are just the colors I chose. You can get foils from absolutely anywhere, from eBay, Amazon, quite a lot of nail art supply stores sell them. I'll leave some links down below where I purchased these from. So I'm going to start with this copper and the idea with foils is you've got to make sure you're placing it down on the correct side of the foil. If you don't, you'll end up with a big mess. So as you can see here, I'm placing the wrong side onto the nail. So what I mean by that is your colour is facing you and then the foil adhesive pulls that foil onto the nail and puts the colour on the nail. I really do hope that makes sense. It's the best way I could describe it, but you can hopefully see from the video exactly how to apply it. And you, all you need to do is press down onto the nail for it half a second and pull off really quickly you don't want to pull off slowly if you do that you'll probably pull the glue off with it you want to place down and pull off really quickly now as you can see on my nails i've kind of got when you place it down some kind of ridges and grooves to create that effect when i was filing my nails i filed with a higher grip file so it left some scratch marks in there because i wanted a slightly more liney effect with my transfer foil if you want a smoother effect and if you wanted say to apply one foil to the whole nail then I would just buff over with a nice buffing block and you're sorted or if you're using a gel polish just wipe that inhibition layer off and then apply your glue and it'll be nice and smooth. So I'm just showing you these two nails how to do it. I choose one colour, finish with that colour then go on to the next and build up my design. As I said before you can use however many colours you want to build up a design. When I'm doing this on a client, I would work from left to right on each nail. So I choose one colour like I'm doing here, do the copper on every single nail, then get my next colour and just say for example pink and do the pink on every single nail. That just works a lot quicker, it's a lot less faff. This is a really, really super easy and quick nail art design to achieve. Even if you're doing it on just say the ring finger, it's a nice way to add a bit of glitz and glam without using glitters or things like that. Some clients don't like full on glitter nails so this is a little bit more alternative and I think it's a really nice effective way of jazzing up a set of nails. So that is those nails all done. So now we're going on to top coating and I'm using the Gel Bottle Ink Extreme Shine Top Coat. You need to apply two coats of this with whatever top coat you're using. I suggest definitely applying two coats that just properly seals everything in and make sure you've got no chipping. So what I would say when you are top coating, make sure you're butting that top coat right up past where you applied that glue in the cuticle area because that is sealing it in efficiently and then make sure you're capping your free edge and the sides of the nails as well. This just ensures a really good sealed in design so it will minimise chipping 
and everything like that so really key this part is the most one of the most important parts in doing foil designs so I cured the first layer of top coat of the gel bottle ink extreme shine for 30 seconds and then I'm curing the second coat for a full 60 second cure so that is them all done I'm just applying some cuticle oil to rehydrate I love foil effect nails, they're awesome, they're some of my favourite nail art techniques to do and the options really are endless, you could create so many awesome designs. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like this video for more and subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with all my new videos, I've got some really fun tutorials coming up for you and then head on over to my Instagram, Isabel May Nails. I post tons of my work on there all my nail stuff and I also have little sneak peeks for upcoming videos on my YouTube channel so again thank you for watching I'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye